Welcome back to the weekdays. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today we are going to learn how to design a pull up banner in Photoshop. Yes, on this particular tutorial, it's nothing but a very simple one and maybe interesting one that you like to do. And on this particular destiny, it's nothing but uh, we are going to use Photoshop to do that as we always do or our usual uh, software that we do not want to use. Let's just head over to our Photoshop over here and then we get the size that we are going to use for that particular uh, polar banner and I'm just going to create a new document and on for this particular new document I'm going to use 40 by 75 for that one so over here I'm going to use uh, 40 40 and then by 75 instead of 72 I'm going to use 40 by 75 over there and then over here I'm just going to call it pull up D that's pull up what banner and then that's ends it and the resolution 72 i just want it that way because i'm not going to print it it's just for tutorial sake then i can click ok to create it and this is what i'll have over here and then this one depends on the size that you wish to use i used to use this but normally normally people do 70 uh, 30 by 72 30 by 80 uh, 70, uh 30 by 82 81 and all that but this one for tutorials i just want to use this one for that particular distance yes so the first thing i'm going to do is start creating the background how i want it to be so i'm just I'm heading over to this particular place then i'll pick the rectangular tool over here then i'm just going to draw something like this over there just like that you get that yes and then when i have something like this i'll try and make the color red that will be okay so that i can do any adjustment for that particular shape over here that i'm just going to click over here then i'll right click and do what and click on warp then when i click on warp i'll just move this one to the top just like that that will be okay for me and then i'll click okay then when i do this the next thing i'm going to do is to add a gradient to it a gradient to that particular distance just like that and then i'm just going to click over here then i'll pick any random color over there then i'm over here i'm going to use a red for that and i'm going to use this particular red over there that would be okay for me and then over here too i'm going to use a red but it's going to be a deep red over there just like that uh some kind of red is okay for me then i can have i can click okay and then um i'm just going to turn up my distance a little bit so that i can have some kind of um this thing over there so that it will be one sided over this one this will be okay for me then i'll click ok the next thing again i have to do is to duplicate this particular shape and then i'll move that one to the top just like that and then what i need to do over here is to come back to the uh the the shape this thing the what is the the, the, the gradient overlay over here then i'll click on this particular distance reverse to reverse it this way then I can have it just like this over there and then that one I'll move it a little bit here and then I'll do the same thing again I'll duplicate another one again then I'll move that one to the top over there too just like that and that will be okay for me then I'm just going to group all in that particular distance then I'll call it shape yes I'm going to call the shape top so that will be okay for me you get that yes and the next thing again I have to do over here is to come up with a guideline down here too just like that and that will be okay for me then i'm going to copy the gradient i added to the red top over there so i'll just right click on it then copy the layer what the layer style then i'll come over here and then i'll paste it on just like that you get that and i'm going to change it uh instead of having it a, a angle 33 i'll have a angle zero and that will be okay for me then i'll click okay then i'll have it just like this over there yes so the next thing again i have to do over here again is that I am just coming to a rectangular tool over here then I'll pick ellipse to that the circle tool then I'm just going to draw a circle just like that by holding shift so that I can have a perfect uh, circle over there just like that over here you get that yes then I can have it just like this okay so the next thing again I have to do is to duplicate it by ctrl G and then I'll move that one inside just like that you get that yes and over there I'm just going to file then I'll come to place a link you can place a component distance there you can place your picture you can place anything even anything you wish to place you can place it over there without any big issue yes you get that so this is what i'm going to have and then i'll 
is, uh, I'll just transform it a little bit so that I can have it just like that because the document is very big that's why the picture was so tiny and I can have it just like that and then I'll right click and do what and create a clipper mask in then I can have it just like this over there you get that yes and then what I need to do over here is to hold this is to hold shift and I'll select this to particular distance and then I'll just transform it a little bit so that it will come up a little bit just like that okay yes then i can have it just like that over there you get that yes so the next thing again i have to do is to pick up this particular two this thing then i'll click i'll click ctrl j uh, oh sorry i'll type ctrl j to duplicate it and then the down layers over there i'll just pick it to the top so that i see that it has covered that particular thing then i'll hold shift alternate and then i'll just move it a little bit inner just like that and that one i'll place it somewhere here and that'll be okay for me you get that yes and then over there i'm just going to change the color to certain color okay let me have it this color for now then i can have it just like that and the next thing again i have to do is to duplicate that one too again then i'll bring it somewhere here it looks so beautiful for me and then i'll just try and transform it a little bit bigger and then that will be okay for me and then over this particular my way my image is inserted over there i'll try and do what and reduce it a little bit so that it will go in a two then i can have it just like that over there you get that yes and then the next thing again i have to do is to go to my resources file or the sources file that i'm going to use over there then i can have just all this and i'll pick this information so over there so grow your business uh in 2023 now i'll have it just like that over there then i'll just copy that one over there then i'll just come to photoshop and then over this particular place that is where i'm going to put that particular distance story there then i'll just paste it in there just like that and then i'll have i'll cut it off just like this and then i'll try and reduce the size a little bit uh let me have it 100 let's see 100 that'll be okay and now i'll make it what i'll make it regular so that it won't be so bold so let me just make it uh 150 and see Okay, I was saying I think 150 will be okay for me. And then the paragraph, and I'm just going to sector it so that it will sect it just like that. And then the next thing again I have to do is to pick the 2023 over there. And then I'm just going to paste it over this place just like that over there too. And then uh, increasing the size, I mean, let me make it 220 that will be okay then that one should be somewhere here and then over this particular play i'm just going to change the color or i'm just going to change the the, the color over there or to the gradient color over here so i'm just going to copy that particular one and then i'll just come and paste it over here then i'll have it just like this over there you get that yes so that is how i'll have here and that one looks so beautiful so over this place i'm just going to increase the size a little bit so that the 2023 will be a little bit bigger over there just like that and then i'm just going to use what's bold for that you get that yes and i'll have it just like this so grow your business in 2023 then i'll have that one just like that and then the next thing again i have to do over here is that i'm just going to come into my resources file over here then i'll come and pick this particular place i'll come and pick a place over here i'll place let's grow your business so i'm just going to pick let's grow over there and then i'll have it just like this over there and then i'm just going to change the color to what to black and that'll be okay then i'll zoom out my work and then i'll place it somewhere here so let's grow the kind of apostrophe oh sorry apostrophe where are you okay that's all then i can have that one so just like this over there and then i'll come and pick the your business i'll pick that one over there and then i'm just going to paste that one to somewhere here i just want to finish everything over here before i can do the alignment and those kind of things over there you get that yes so i can have something like this over there and then let me increase the size somewhere 200 so that it will be a little bit bigger over there you get that yes and then i'll highlight only the business over there then i'll make it bold you get that i'll make it bold and i'll change the color to certain color like this over there you get that yes and then i can have it just like this over there you get that yes so the next thing again i have to do is to come and pick we provide you and then the information that you provide or the business uh this thing that you provide then you can just put that one to there and then you can have it just like this over there and that one is 200 i think that one be okay and the next thing again I'm, i have to do is to pick up this particular graphic design and then i'm just going to paste it somewhere here 
and that will be okay for me and that one be is 200 no problem let's come we'll make some changes so over here let's change the this thing to uh, 150 and see 150 will be okay and the next thing you're gonna have to do is to come to a rectangular tool over here then i'll come and pick the polygonal tool over here then when i pick the polygonal tool over here over the sizes on top here i'm just going to change it to three and then over this particular place i'm just going to make uh instead of having a radius i'll just go to make it smooth smooth what smooth corners and that'll be okay then i'll have it just like that and then i'm just going to uh hold shift and then i can have it just like that and then i'll have it just like this okay i'll have it just like this it's okay for me and the next thing again i have to do i'm just going to paste in the gradient color over there so that i can have it just like that okay you get that yes so i'm just going to zoom out and i'll have it just like this and then i'm just going to rotate it this way then i'll rotate it that way and that will be okay for me then i can have it just like this over there you get that yes so the next thing again i have to do is to click on rectangular tool over there then i'll come to custom shapes over here then i'll pick any custom random shape over here just like that the correct distance over there and then i'm just going to do what i'm just going to uh have it just like this over there not that too big not that too small and i'll have it just like that and i'll move that one to the top and that one should be red uh, white rather then i can have it just like this over there you get that yes so this one match with this it should match with this okay that so i can have it just like this and then i'm just going to change the color to the same color over there it's okay then i can have it just like that okay yes i can have it just like this so the next thing again i have to do is that I'm just going to pick a tool over here and then I'll just click here then I can have something like this I just want a random story to appear just like that and I can have it just like that and then I'm just going to change the color to black if that one should be black and then I'll reduce the size a little bit so that I can have it uh, this and the paragraph and I'm just going to make it align just uh, left aligned then I can have it just like this over there and that looks so beautiful for me and then I'm checking on that let me see how I'm just going to make it uh, so that it will be bold it shouldn't be bold and uh, it should look uh, interesting people should have interest in reading it then I can have something like this over there okay so this way is okay for me so what I, I really want to do over here is that over these particular shapes there I am just going to transform it a little bit inner so that it will be too bigger just like that and I can have it just like that okay then I'm just going to move my distance to this so that it will match up with this and then these two particular distance too I'm just going to pick that uh, story and this particular story there then I will match it to this particular place too okay this way it's okay then I can have it just like that you get that so right now I'm just going to copy it, all of them just like that uh, let me hide up uh, this thing so that it won't be disturbing me that's the picture image okay that's the image I'll have it just like that then I'll have it just this and then I'm just going to pick only this and I'll duplicate it and then I'll bring that one to down here and then I'll do the same thing again. I'll duplicate, then I'll bring it down here to lovely. Then I love it. You get that? Yes. And then when I have something like this over here, what I really want to do over here is to change this. So I'm just going to copy this one, web design, then I'm just going to change that one there. And then I'll do what? I'm just going to paste it over here. And that one will be okay for me and that one should come over here so that will match up with this one and then the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick the digital printing too then I'll pick that one too and then I'm just going to paste it over here and that one should match up with that and that will be okay again you get that yes and then we are good to go we are just designing a what a polar banner very simple one without stressing much of your time so I am just going to save my work for anything that may happen through the tutorial you get that yes so then after that you can see that everything that i wrote here uh, is already in the distance so the next thing again that we have to do is that over here you can decide to put your logo there and and that will look so beautiful for you you get that so this one logo yes so over here i don't have any logo to put there so i'm just going to put this kind of thing there so that you may decide to put any logo there that looks beautiful for you without any much uh, problem you get that so you can have it just like that over there so I am just going to 
this and I'm going to transform it a little bit so that's small and then I can have it just like that okay and I will uh, cut I'll just have it just like that then I'll make it come somewhere here so okay then I can have it just like this okay yes so we are going so the next thing again I have to do over here is that I can decide to put my social media handles everything on this particular listing without any problem so for this uh, I just want to put my phone number 055 nine two two zero eight six eight then i can have it just like that and then what i need to do over here is to change the color to black and that ends the problem and then it will appear very well for me then i can have it just like that to get that yes and then the i'm just going to change it to regular and then uh let me add the country code that is plus uh, sorry Okay, I can have it just like that, and I'll put two, three, three. Then I can have it just like that. I'll separate. Okay, then I'll separate it three, three. That will be okay. Then I can have it just like that. All right, that looks so beautiful. So let's just say, let's talk. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Okay. Then I can have it just like this. Let's talk. And then we are good to go. So that is very simple designing a, 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 a what is the name? A, a, a pull up banner without stressing much of your time. Then you can have it just like that. The next thing again I have to do over here is that I just want to make some arrangement over here so that I don't have much of my problem. So over this particular this uh, over this uh let me see the image i locked it up over this particular image the down one i'm just going to duplicate it and when i duplicate it i'll click on that down one and then i'll come to the properties uh, distant panel here and then the field i'm going to off it by the stroke i'm going to make it uh, red and then i'll give out the stroke of let me see 10. yes and when i get 10 i'm just going to transform it out just like this okay so let me try and make it somewhere 20 so that should be a little bit bigger yes and then i can have it just like that okay so the next thing again i have to do over that particular panel this particular panel i'm going to change it to this kind of um this thing and that will be okay for me and then the next thing again i have to do i'm going to right click on that particular layer then i'll right stylize it you get that yes and when i right stylize it what i really want to do is to cut it off because i don't like I don't want all of them so i'm just going to pick a cut a uh, distant a polygonal tool over here and then i'll just cut from here okay let's cut from here to here yes just like that and i'll right click and do what and cut it off just like that okay then when i cut it off i will close up this one and i'll come over here and pick the ellipse tool and then i'll just draw some kind of circle there so that it will have some kind of thing you get that so i'm just going to cut, cut it off and then i'll give it the color of the red and that one should match with this that'll be okay then i'll copy it to the other side to this side i'll copy it to this side i'll copy it to this side and that one should match up with this and then i can have it just like this over there you get that yes so the next thing again I have to do over here is that checking on that particular this particular this thing I just want to make some arrangement or some changes to it and then I'm just going to have it just like that and then I'll reduce the size uh, the opacity a little bit so that I can really I can get what I really want over there so I am just going to add a stroke to that particular distance which is going to be red and then I'm going to get a stroke of 10, nine, uh, what is the name, a stroke of 5, let me see, 5, okay, I think 5 will be okay for me, then I can have it just like this over there, you get that, yes. And the next thing again I have to do over there, uh, this thing again is that over there, this particular place, I am just going to uh, have it all in one, just like that, and then I'll group it 
then I'll call it text I'll call it grew so that grew and then I'll just push it a little bit in sorry I'll just put it a little bit in why just put it a little bit in just like that then I'll move it somewhere here yes so close I don't want it to be too big yes then I can have it just like that over there you get that yes and then the next thing again I have to do over here is to pick a rectangle tool then I'll just draw something like this over there you get that then when I draw something like this over there I am just going to pick up this particular random color over there and then the curves I'll move it inner just like that I'll move it inner just like this okay then I can have it just like that and then I'll move that one to out a little bit just like that and then I'll have it just like that over there you get that yes so on this particular distance I'm just going to increase the size a little bit 200 and that one should go here and then I'll pick a tool a, a, a guide for that and then over this particular place I'll have it just like that and then I'll try and increase the size a little bit so that it will pop up very very well for people to have the view of that and then this place will be okay for me and then I'll have this one but however I'm just going to change the color to the background color over here yes I don't want the black to appear very well so I want it to look so somehow uh, fed and then I'll have it just like that over there and then I'll check through over this place and I'll move this to somewhere here that will be okay for me you get that yes and I can have it just like that over there you get that yes so the next thing again I have to do over there is to come to rectangular tool over here then I'll just come and pick a tool here at uh, the custom shapes then I'll just come and pick the lock tool over there and then I'll draw something like this over here then I can have it just like that and then I'm just going to change it to this color and then I'll rotate it 90 clockwise and I can have it just like that you know some kind of shape there that looks so beautiful you get that yes and I can have it just like that over there and then I'll just move it to this okay so that it will match with that and this one should come a little bit down and then I can have it just like this over there so this is how uh, a banner a polar banner has been designed with ABM graphics so having this one I'll pull up I'll make it on top just like that uh, make it somewhere here come somewhere here and then I'll duplicate that one too and when I duplicate it uh, I'll move that one to the top just like that and then I'm going to make the changes over there too uh, the reverse I'll make it this way but I'll have some kind of uh, this thing over there you get that yes so that is how I'm just going to have it over there and then I'll just match up with my listings so this one was I'm going to delete it off then I can have it just like that so so anytime anything is going to happen it will never enter here so there is a guideline that I pull up up and then I can have it just like this over there yes so this is how pull up banner has been designed with ABM graphics thank you very much for watching this is ABM graphics and have a nice day bye bye